Alright, what's up guys? Today was an awesome day. I got out there at 6 a.m., caught a bunch of fish, and it got to be about 2.30ish, and I realized that I didn't have any more batteries in my bag. So, that's where the footage ended. I hope that you enjoyed today's video, and uh, I made one little switch that's really what turned the fish on. Um, Mike and I had a really, really good day. Show was great. I got off the water uh, earlier beforehand and I uh, came in and took a little nap and got some food and uh, went to my show and I just got back. It is 1.30 a.m. in the morning and uh, I may go out tomorrow morning. I don't know. I have another show tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Um, so I'm kind of trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I don't know yet. But uh, this weekend has been amazing. It's still a full moon. I can literally see it through my tent with the lights on. It's a beautiful night, guys. And uh, yeah, I'm going to crash and uh, get up in the morning and have some breakfast and get out there and cook on the burner. And uh, I have sausage and uh, some hash browns. So, and I have oatmeal. Forgot I have oatmeal too. So, we are gonna get to sleep and we'll see y'all in the morning. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't and subscribe. So, have an awesome night guys and we will see you in the morning. What's up and a good morning guys. It is a windy day so I'm going to apologize beforehand for the wind. But last night was awesome. I got great sleep. I woke up at about three o'clock in the morning and it seriously sounded like there was a tornado outside my tent. So I made sure that it was locked down good and uh, don't need the rain fly flying away. So we are gonna make some breakfast I don't have a cup for the water to heat up in, so I'm going to use my pan. And I also have some corned beef hash I'm going to cook up. So let's get the sucker lighted, get the water boiling, and get the oatmeal made. Alright, so the thing I like about this burner is it comes with a stand and the legs swivel out so you get a little bit more stability. So I'm gonna set that down in a corner away from the wind. That slides right in and it stays there. And we're gonna turn our burner on. Get the gas pumping. that cranking and get our water boiling. I don't need a whole lot. Just enough for the oatmeal. Maybe more. There we go. Uh, a little more. I'd rather have more than enough than not. So, pull out that heat up. All right, our water is just about boiled. So, we're gonna take our water and put it in my little cup here, put the lid on, close it, and wait for our oatmeal. Propane. Get a rockin'. Don't want it too hot. All 
I am cooking corned beef hash. So I know it looks like dollar food, but you know what? I like it. So I have in my container garlic basil butter made from scratch. Going in the pan from scratch. I never leave home without it. So a little bit more butter. I want some good flavor. There we go. Mmm. 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 Cannot wait to tear this up. Alright, so spatula. And I got that melted down. I always vacuum seal my food. See that? It's in a package sealed. So I'm gonna get the corned beef hash in the pan, got it cooking. And I will see you back in a few minutes. So my battery died on my camera. But I put the corned beef hash in the pan. And I'm just going to let it cook until it's heated through. And, uh, check out my oatmeal. And uh, then we'll be ready to chow. I'm ready. All right, we are finished with our corned beef hash. It is time to chow. Cannot wait to dig in. But first, let's check our own meal. Oh yeah, look at that. Yum. Time to chow down, y'all.